The day starts with the promise of a bright sun. But then suddenly the weather changes and it begins to rain heavily. But as the day progresses, the weather slowly starts to change its face again. The overcast clouds in the sky are slowly blown away and the day starts to get drier and warmer. On such a day, as the sun slowly begins to set in the horizon far away, the termite colonies of this region begins to rupture with super excitement. It is an usual flight time for the termites, and the termite kingdoms of one particular termite clan is super excited for this momentous event. And so as it begins, all the virgin kings and queen termite elites of the great termite kingdom of the region takes the most important flight of their lifetime. The first thing that the young virgin termites do is to scatter themselves as far away from their nest as possible. An ancient inherent wisdom in them is telling them that it is better to mate with a partner coming from another colony of the neighborhood. Now finding a mate is not a problem tonight. With hundreds of termite kings and queen allies having taken to the sky tonight, there is more than enough chance of meeting someone worthy tonight. But getting to the most desirable virgin queen allied is still a great challenge for the male termite allies. They will have to compete fiercely with one another. And even after winning, the queen will not accept the young male's romantic proposal so easily. He will have to run endlessly after the virgin queen in order to be able to mate with her. By not giving up to the persuasions of the males so easily, the young virgin queen ensures that she mates only with the strongest of the males. The weaker males have no place out here. Once the partner is chosen and the mating takes place, the pair quickly dig into the soil and hide themselves when in the coming days, the fertilized queen will grow fatter, lay thousands of eggs and form a new last termite kingdom for herself. Now this sounds like a happy story, does it not? Well, it does not always end in the happily ever after way. The nuptial flight no doubt brings the hope of life for the termites, but it also brings along with it a curse, a curse of death for them. It is a dark night in this lands which the ant watcher has named Formitormisia. Hundreds of virgin males and female termites have taken the nuptial flight tonight. But out of the hundreds of virgin termites who have taken the nuptial flight, it is destined that only a few among them will succeed in their life mission of mating and starting a new colony. Hundreds of the young termites will die out of exertion and many more of them will be mercilessly killed and eaten. So while many of the termite elites are wandering and fighting in the sandy terrain of Formitormisia, many of their kinds are being hunted down and killed by the geckos, frogs, spiders and birds. But none among these predators will kill as many termites tonight as the lifelong swan enemies of the termites, which are the ants. When the nuptial flight of the termites takes place, no other being of this region other than the termites themselves get more excited than the ants of the neighborhood. And when the termite elites begin to land within the foraging territory of the ants, it is a feasting time for the ants. So the first among the ants to catch the termite elites tonight are the black regenites. Though without any venomous sting or strong jaws, the acidic spray of these ants are potent enough to kill even a big sized termite elet. These black crazy ants have killed more than one termite elet and are carrying them home. Nearby another unfortunate termite elet has been killed. And the killers are the tiny tapinoma army. Now one should not go by the small size of these ants. While these ants may not be able to catch a last moving termite elet, a wounded termite elet that is unable to move will be quickly swarmed by these ants and killed mercilessly using their sharp tiny painful bites and their venom which they apply on the body of their prey by rubbing the tip of their gaster against the body of their prey. A little further away, 
the Lepisiota ants are carrying away a headless body of a smaller termite alien. Now since two different species of termites do not take to the nuptial flight together, this termite alien must have been killed while it was hiding in the soil after their nuptial flight that had taken place yesterday. Talking about yesterday, it was no different. And yesterday too, the termite alleys were killed mercilessly by the ants. Right from the timid yellow crematogaster to the timid looking yet stubborn Meronoplos bicolor ants, every ant colony had had their mouth full. The smell of the termite alleys was so attracting that even the Leptogen's army were seen raiding the area hurriedly in search of the termite alley. Now when one talks about termite hunting, how can the Fedole clan be ever left behind? So the Fedole ants too had their mouth full of the termite clays. The yellow crazy clan who have just moved to these lands and who seem to be dealing with my problem too were seen enjoying the termite feast. For the super big ants like the Pseudoneoponera bisponesa, killing the small sized termite alleys or pulling the dead termite alleys stuck in the mud was no problem at all. It is no doubt that the big black ants had their gaster pool of termite yesterday. However, the ants that killed the most number of termites yesterday were the Technomirmic albives and the fire ants. The Technomirmic albives killed the most number of termite alleys inside the house of the ant watcher. They could be seen walking hard all through the night and it took them several hours to carry the bodies of all the dead termites to their nest. Outside, the fire ants were seen carrying the massacre of the termite alleys. Each fire ant colony had killed several dozens of termite alleys. The excited fire ant army could be seen catching termites, killing them, cutting them into pieces and carrying them home. The fire ant could be seen toiling throughout the night yesterday. It is likely that their food chambers are still filled up with termite corpses even up to this hour. Coming back to this movement, it is not the pharaoh ants that are killing the most number of termite alleys tonight. Given the big size of these termite alleys, it is not even the technomimic albives ants or the fire ants that have killed the most number of termite alleys tonight. The ant clan that have killed the most number of termite alleys tonight are in fact another more deadlier species of ants. Can you make a guess who it might be?